Hi, it's me, Tree. I am here with another Art Snackies unboxing. For the purposes of this, this is prop. Because for some reason, everybody decided at one point that anything remotely sharp is dangerous according to the algorithm. All right, let's see if I can open the box today without many problems. Ah, look at me. Things, okay. So, okay. So first thing, the first is the Strata, which is a paint on white mixed media multi-techniques uh, pad. It is 7 by 10 inches, which is 17.8 times 25.9 centimeters for those of you who are civilized and use the metric system. Uh, it's very, it's heavyweight. It's bright white is what it says, and it is a chunky bow, it feels. It is 250 GSMN, so that's, yeah, that's chunky and 20 sheets. So... Yay! Some strong paper. I don't know. I'm just being weird. Oops, sorry. And it's got a little bit of a texture, so it's not entirely um, textureless. It's made in the Netherlands in a historic mill that was established in 1618. That's kind of cool, actually. But then it says it was made in Morocco. It probably means it was assembled in Morocco. Have on me. Open the box, get stuff all over me. Ah. Next thing, the next is some Derwent line mark makers. Line makers. Mm hmm. So they are. Boxes, why do you all suck? Do 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 do. Arr. Okay, there are three. I was gonna say it's like large box for two. <clears throat> they are, of course, in points that I don't necessarily use, so they're like microns, basically. They even have the felt nib tip, which is always fun because I just. I, I, I like the plastic nibs that the microns have. I am less likely to destroy those. Uh, next thing, the next, we have Aqua Brush Duo from Lyra. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Tombow markers, basically. Sorry, I'm reading the package. Ah, tape, keep it shut. Ah, there we go. Let's open one of these buckos and see what they look like. They are double tipped, so we have a bullet nib at one end. And I'm guessing a brush and a brush nip tip at the other. And it is pastel, which is cool because I don't have a whole lot of like pastel colors. On to the bag. Informational brochures. And our snack of the month is a warhead in blue raspberry, so I might actually eat that. <laughs> we have a great honkin' uh, pencil sharpener, which implies there will be pencils coming. And in our fancy couple of green tissue paper, 
almost got it completely open and unripped. Weird things that make me happy. And we have a little ice cream print sticker. An F hardness drawing pencil, which is pretty hard. One of these double-ended Hombo um, black and brown, uh, black and gray inks with uh, plastic nibs. I think I have one of these already that I got from an art snacks, weirdly enough. Um, the Tombo Fuden, Fud, Fudenosuko Twin Tip Brush Pen in blue, Black and Gray. Uh, black ink. Okay. It does not say whether or not it is. There it is. It's waterproof once it's dry. Yes, I do have one of these, and I have really enjoyed it, and I've used it sparingly because I forget to buy things. So, yay, I have a second. And then we have a an acrylic marker, acrylic paint marker, in this, I'm guessing this really pretty kind of, um, gray sky blue. It's a, it's a Montana acrylic marker. I have one of these in, I think, mustard yellow already, and I enjoy it. It is refillable, and when it is replaceable, it is water-based acrylic paint, and it is matte. Cool. And the, the, Chunky Boy of Dune is a Kuhn Magnesium Long Point Pencil Sharpener, which I have one of the Kuhn Long Point Pencil Sharpeners that came in a previous Arts Next box, but it's like, it has a regular and then a long, so this is just the long. This is a very interesting and useful haul, so like I know I'll use most of this. Oh, the mixed media pad is called, is Claire Fontaine paint on. So that is the unboxing. I will be back later with um, a demo of things. So until then, do good, be kind, be brave, and courage. Hi, it's me, Tree. Um, this is the demo part of the Art Snacks unboxing. So the first thing I did was take a piece of the white mixed media, paint on white mixed media multi-techniques paper, tore it out, and then tore it down into two pieces. And I'm kind of a heathen. Well, I'm kind of a heathen and kind of an old, old school art person that I prefer to tear down paper than um, cut it if I can. And this has a pretty good deco edge on the line. Um, I'm sure that's because I was going cross grain instead of cross grain with grain. You know, I'd say because I went cross grain, but the thing is, is that I'm not sure how this paper is made, so it might not technically have a grain per se, but that is what I did. So I have two pieces of paper. And I did a really quick little vulture sketch because I like vultures. Vultures are cool. And I'm going to use the water brush out of my Art Snacks BYOB watercolor palette just because it's good, it's small, it's here. We're going to use it. So what I'm going to try and do now is to do some, um, I often do not use markers as markers per se. I use them as uh, water-soluble media most of the time. 
so this is what we're gonna do and this is where we're gonna start we're gonna put in a little gray under shadows with uh, the gray of this which um, might be interesting and might be not because it is once it dries it is not water soluble but until it dries it is so we'll see how that, well that works to be fair, I do have one of these. I do use it. I just don't generally use it for the gray in it. So, there's that. But that's also part of the joy and wonder of the water brush, because you can just open up the friend and go to town. Look at that. It has, it has a nice, like, moderate little spread, which is all we can ask sometimes. Moderate spread sounded deeply weird when I said it out loud. And with water brushes, I have a tendency, rather than squeeze the water out as I work, I keep a dollop of water on my hand and use it that way. It's strange, I'm weird, I know that. All right, we're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry. Okay, good, good to know the pen caps do not like to sit on the ends of these markers, which is always good for me to know because otherwise I lose marker lids. Hello, little bean. I'm sorry, I'm using my desk right now. Do you, must you needs come up? Okay. Come on. No, please don't knock him off. No, no choose. No. Why are you naughty? Stop. you have a cat on your desk. Don't chew on that. No. This is not for kitten. No. Hey. Oh, Niggy. Niggy. Vulture's rough. I'm going to fill in with this acrylic marker. It's because I want the difference in textures. Come back when it's dry. 
Okay, so we're we're mostly dry now. We're dry enough where we can work with it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is do outlining. Have to remember, aha, which way the nips of these go. The, this is a, a, a problem when you have a history in uh, metal smithing because the smaller the gauge in metal smithing means it's thicker, whereas the smaller the gauge in pen nibs means it's smaller. So, weird things that you have to contend with when you do more than one sort of work. And I like to smudge the lines a little bit. I'm not much of a, a sharp line person when it comes to my, my traditional art. When it comes to digital, that gets a bit different because of how I work digitally. And just a reminder, these markers are dual-ended, so we have a bullet end on one and a uh, brush on the other. I do have a little complaint with the paper that it is. It, um, pills a bit. I'm gonna go back in with the black pen and fill in a little place, a few places. Reminder, this is the other end of the gray. Um, it is waterproof once dry, but not while it is wet itself. And while this did not come in this box, um, I have gotten a white jelly ball, jelly ball, jelly roll, um, gel pen in the past in the boxes, so that makes it fair game, game in my mind. see the pilling that happens. So it's while it's a mixed media thing, it doesn't not necessarily like wet media, which is a problem because a lot of us use wet media. We're gonna let things dry for a little bit again. So here is our friend at the end. Um, some issues because the paper not necessarily um, being what I want it to be. Um, 
it wears through pretty easy, it buckles, it's not meant for wet media the way I use wet media. Which is fine, I'll use it for, you know, sketching or, um, small works on paper, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I like the, I like these, um, Lyra markers, they're very, like, like, Tombow markers, honestly. Um, I'd like the Derwent line markers better if they were, um, plastic nib because felt nibs I have a tendency to destroy, but I like that they're sepia. I, I'm very indifferent about, um, what are those called? Drawing pencils. I use colored pencils to draw. I have for years, um, and when I do use drawing pencils, I prefer, um, the Faber-Castell, the, the old reliable green one, dark green ones, they are my first drawing pencils, they are my, my ride or die drawing pencils. Um, this continues to be lovely, I already had one, so it, it wasn't remotely a surprise to me. I like this honkin' thing. I really like acrylic mark, acrylic paint markers. They make me very happy. Um, you know I'm doing that, and I should probably turn the paper so you can see it. But yeah, here we are. Here we go. watch me be chaotic and not be able to put anything on on the thing very well. So yeah, there we go. Here we are. There it is. Uh, here comes the boy. So, uh, thank you for sitting through this with me. Um, if you like what I do, maybe consider following me on my other sock meds. I am Tentacle Maid Studios, or Tentacle Maid, everywhere that matters. Uh, I have Redbubble, I take commissions, I have a shop on my website at tentaclemaidstudios.com. Yeah, I, I, I'll do the things, so, you know, come find me. Like my stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. If you want to, do not feel obligated to do any of these things. Um, but know that the world is better for having you in it. And do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.